Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Um, so what I'll do today, um, I will talk about uh, bots in, in a little bit more detail. I, I, I do understand that in a couple of days ago, I spoke about uh, Einstein bots and overview of it. Um, so what I'll do today, uh, I wanted to put a business lens to it, why we want to consider using bots and what scenario we can usually address, right? So. So that's become, <clears throat> excuse me, very clear for you guys to understand whether the bot is something you should be considering. I could use Einstein bot, or could, or could build your in-house, right? Depending uh, on what you wanted to use. So uh, you might have seen right back in, say, you know, maybe in 2015 or 2016, uh, if you had interacted, let's say, with the business, right? Say, for instance, if you bought a product, <clears throat> excuse me and if you interact with the business right and if you had a complaint so usually what you often end up in uh doing was you often email them or normally ring their contact center which is pretty fine right which is which, which was all right at the time now you might think that things have quite changed right you might have seen most of the companies are using bot now if you're a software company who deals with um say selling lots and lots of goods right let's say you know millions and millions of dollars worth worth of goods every year it's 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 a great idea to consider having a bot interface in place because this will form as a part of one of the omni channel for you now <clears throat> you must be thinking oh yeah we got a better contact center we have a call center in place uh we do have an email support we do have whatsapp support why do we need another uh, bot support, right? So that's a very good question, right? Um, so if you consider a scenario, right, <clears throat> where sometimes customer might contact you for a very, very simple query, like, hey, can I, can I know the status of my order? Uh, when are you guys shipping this order? Uh, can I ask for a refund? So for a simple scenario, I don't think it will be a visor option to involve your agent to answer that. Instead, imagine having a bot in place, right, where it can answer all the commonly asked questions. <clears throat> How cool will be that, right? Hey, can you tell me status of my order? Oh, I wanted to cancel my order. I wanted to. I want a refund on these items. I, hey, I've I've received my order, but unfortunately, X Y Z uh, uh, component inside the product has not been arrived, or I haven't received that part. So. It's very easy to deal with the bot. Sometimes, you know, when you're dealing the bot, right? Bot is uh, usually uh, you're building a conversation with the customer, right? It's usually a conversation interface. If I if if I look from that perspective, right? <clears throat> so I'm not gonna t teach you much from the from the trailer today because it talks about uh, the bots. So I just tell you from my experience because I built bots, uh, not just in. <clears throat> uh, Salesforce, I use other tech, but I have experience, so I can share you from that. And it's very important for you to learn and understand why bots are important. Because if you're running a business, right, it's very important that you consider what is good for your customer, right? At the end of the day, you are here to serve a customer if you're running a company. So having that, the right omni channel in picture in the form of board will really um, Add, give you an added advantage uh, with respect to your uh, competitors in the market. Okay, so coming back to the original back, uh, sorry, bot design, you can design your bot uh, using a menu based interface, right? You might have seen, right? Um, let me show you again, right? My favorite countdown. I love this side, right? Because I do grocery shopping from here and I use the bot a lot. And um, ask Olive. Yeah, it's my uh, it's my fun buddy too, <laughs> right? So usually, right? When you look at the chat interface, what we have, it's usually uh, an natural language processing that happens behind the scene, right? Or um, in uh, from a Salesforce perspective, uh, they use NLU, which is fine. Now um, you need to understand that when you're building. Uh, a bot, right? You need you need to build it in such a way you are making a dialogue conversation with the user, right? Hey, uh, Olive here. I'll do my best to help. So you need to confect a few things. How are you going to start your conversation? How the bot will start? How the bot will greet? 
the user, how the bot will end the conversation, and uh, how the bot will show an empathy. Because let's say you you said to your bot, "Hey, I, let, let, let's let's do something funny." I I'm very unhappy with the order, right? Let's say, for instance. Right. <clears throat> okay. Now, <laughs> see this one. This is a problem here. <clears throat> now, I found a bug. <laughs> I'm very unhappy with the order. So, see what the response about. You can order countdown. I'm not talking about the gift cards. I'm just saying I'm not happy with the order. And who cares about the gift cards, right? They ask you if you need one or two. You can simply order them, right? It didn't quite understood what I'm trying to convey, right? So. That's one thing you need to pay attention to it. I didn't I didn't realize there's a bug here, but <clears throat> if you're from Countdown, you probably know, right? If you're watching it, this, 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 so I would say I'm not happy with the order. Right. So now it recognized maybe the way I wrote it tried to it, it misunderstood, but in general, um, you see, sorry to hear you had a bad, uh, the, sorry, the product quality. So you need to factor that empathy in your conversation. So a lot of things goes in uh, when you, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know what happened to my throat. My apologies for that. So when you're trying to build a bot, you need to factor a lot of things that goes into that conversation. Empathy, how you start the conversation, how you end the conversation, and the business context, and what all the bot should con uh, convey. Because it's right. I mean, if you are dealing with, say, for instance, um, you know, the menu-based option, right? Uh, it works, right? Because when you click on the menu-based, you click on one item, it will have it will have a built-in flow behind the scene, which will take you to uh, certain uh, replies and certain actions. And if you click on uh, another uh, menu items, then you will probably uh, get routed to a different. Uh, option to deal with so that you can build it in your bot the same thing you can build using uh, Einstein a bot it's pretty easy to do that um, the one thing I just wanted to uh, address that please do not create bots to be a one to be complete solution for all of your customer service problem because what I've noticed right I've seen that people assume that oh now I have a bot. I don't need a customer agent anymore. I don't need a call center anymore. That's that's absolutely not the uh, the core. Uh, that's not really what bot is for. Uh, the bot is to help your uh, agent to do the more important stuff rather than worrying about, hey, can you give me the status of my order? Can I cancel my order? Instead, let's say if, a, if, if someone says, hey, I bought a solar power from your company. Solar, sorry, solar cell, solar power battery uh, from a company. I have issue with this. I try to troubleshoot this. Can you help me troubleshooting this? They help me troubleshoot that. More complex queries, right? Get routed to the right agent rather than uh, bots dealing with it. Because and you should also have a built-in uh, option to route to the right skill set. So you can <clears throat> all tie that to your bot. So that's how you should be considered, you should be thinking when you're trying to build a bot. Uh, now, you know, I've seen some companies build very pretty simple bot because if that's the, the requirements uh, they have and that's the uh, thing they try to solve, right? The pretty simple things, which is fine if that's what you are after. <clears throat> but if you're after a very strong, uh, sorry, not the strongest one, right? But if you're after a very complex scenario, right? And if you wanted the routing in place, you wanted to have a lot of menus in place, then you wanted to have a complex dialogue interaction using NLP, then you need to design your bot in such a way that it handles all those edge case scenarios as well, right? Because the last thing you want, you know, uh, you created a bot and customers start asking questions, they started giving funny response, right? Then that will piss off the customer even more. And then <clears throat> what will happen is that they will not be interested to deal with your company anymore. So you need to be careful when you design a bot. It's very important to control all of the factors. So that's all in a nutshell I wanted to talk about it. I'm not really getting into the details, nitty gritty of Einstein bot at this stage because, like I said, this course is not about um, 
Uh, it's about uh, understanding the nitty gritty details of Einstein. This course is about artificial intelligence, the capability with Salesforce offers. And, and if you are looking something beyond Salesforce, that the things you should consider, that's what this course is about. I hope that makes it simple. Uh, that being said, hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. Adios.